What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a little vlog. I'm gonna vlog this weekend because Carlos and I are doing some exciting things so I wanna make sure to capture all of these memories. I'm super excited about it. Tonight Carlos and I are actually headed to Sacramento to our venue. We have a detailing meeting. I think that's just where we're gonna sit down and kind of go over like layout, what kind of like chairs we want, what color tablecloths, so on and so forth. Um, we'll kind of figure out what they provide and then what we need to purchase or what we need to bring for day of the wedding. So we're gonna do that and because our venue is like technically a restaurant, we're gonna have dinner there as well. Also, we decided to stay the night tonight at the hotel that we're going to be staying at for wedding day. So it's just gonna be like a whole like date weekend. So I thought it would be kind of fun to vlog it. It's like 10 o'clock right now. We're gonna leave around 1.30 and I have so much to do before we leave. I have not packed one thing, so I need to do that. Um, I need to make like, five or six batches of cookie dough because I have a bunch of cookie orders due next week. One order is due like pretty early next week and it does take a few days to complete a cookie order. So I need to have the dough made and in the refrigerator so when I come back Sunday evening, I can start in on baking. This morning I actually dropped off an order for a local gal. Thank you so much if you're watching for purchasing. Um, she purchased some stuff that I had up on Poshmark and I figured it would just be easier to get it to her like today. So um, I dropped that off and I think that's it. I maybe will like clean up a little bit but I just mainly need to pack and make this cookie dough. I also am heating up a breakfast sandwich in the microwave right now so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get started on this cookie dough. So this has been like one of my favorite breakfasts lately and you're supposed to microwave it in a wet paper towel so that's why the paper towel is here but it's just a breakfast sandwich but there's no like bread or anything. It's supposed to be like a keto breakfast sandwich. So it's egg, cheese, sausage, more egg. So I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on this and then probably eat it with a fork. Thank you. Oh, oh, wow, it's dark in here. Ooh. All right, you guys, we just got to the hotel. So I think this is gonna be what the room is gonna look like when we get married. Uh, but when you first walk in, you have like a little living room, sitting area, which will be nice. Full length mirror right off the bat, I love to see it. So this room I think is where like us girls will be getting ready and like the photographer and videographer and stuff will be in here. I'm, I honestly wish it was a little less hideous, like no offense, this is a typical hotel room I know, but I'm sure we could like bring maybe our own like little decor or something, we'll spice it up, we'll make it look cute. And then there is the bathroom off to the left. <laughs> a little it's not really like, I guess it's a little tiny like kitchenette area, right? Bar area, yeah, Bar area. area. I mean, there's a microwave in the fridge. Nice mm -hmm. bathroom. And then the bedroom. Another mirror. There are mirrors everywhere. Best part, river view. to get ready. I'm gonna curl this hair um, and get dressed. We have about an hour before we're leaving. I'm excited. Did my hair. It's all curled. Touched up my makeup just a little bit. Added a little bit of like a bronzy color eyeshadow. Now I need to get dressed. The lighting in here is terrible but this is my outfit of the night. I'm just wearing black booties from Target. These black skinny jeans, um, I believe are from Forever 20, no, 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 Fashion Nova. Um, this top is also from Fashion Nova, and then this jacket is from Shein. I'm gonna take the jacket off actually so you guys can see the full shirt. Okay, this is what the top looks like. You can kind of like see through to my jeans, but I am wearing a nude cami, um, but it's just a long sleeve, like high neck lace top. It's super pretty. 
um, but it is going to be probably a little chilly tonight so that is why I'm bringing the jacket as well. This is how my makeup came out like I said I just did a little touch up added a little like bronzy color on the actual lid and then my little lip combo here but I'm about to pack my purse up and we are headed out. So it's actually like a week later. I'm just the freaking worst, aren't I? Um, I quickly wanted to run through with you guys what went down the night of the detail meeting because I didn't get really get to film any of it, which sucks. Um, it's not that I wasn't allowed to, it was just kind of a lot going on and I just didn't pull my camera out. So I have a stack of paperwork here and I'll share with you guys kind of how the night unfolded. So we walked across the street to our venue from the hotel and we were like a half hour early so we waited a little bit. I got some footage of the inside of the restaurant. It's such a beautiful like restaurant. I don't know, the inside looks to me nothing like the outside and we're getting married on the outside like um, courtyard area. So the inside is super cool. I don't. I I'm guessing it used to be an actual firehouse. I really don't even know if I'm being honest with you, but super cool. You see the fireman pole, you see the spiral staircase. Like it's just, it's a cool, like dark. It's very dark inside kind of a vibe. The lady that we were meeting with, she's kind of like the events coordinator. And what's cool is she's like included in the price of what we're paying um, for the whole like ceremony and everything to be at that venue. So she sat us down in this little like secret room. It was so cool. That's one thing about this um, restaurant as well is there's so many like like staircases and like secret rooms. There's a huge like wine cellar down in like the basement. It's just like a whole like crazy experience every time I go there. I love it. Um, she gave us this little like stapled packet. So that way we could write notes and it was kind of an outline of every single thing we were going to be going over that night which was super nice of her she left us room like i said to take notes and everything is just so well like thought out and planned out and organized and i freaking love that um the first thing we kind of went over was if we are going to have a preferred beverage between Carlos and I, you know how sometimes they do like the Mrs. Drink and the Mr. Drink or whatever it is, the bride's pick, the groom's pick. We decided against that. We're just gonna let everybody decide whatever they want to drink. The bar, um, there's like a bar on site so we don't have to find someone and like purchase all the alcohol and like set up the bar. Like if they want a drink, go to the bar and get one, which is nice. Um, we also got to pick our dinner package so she gave us an entire list of um, like each package has obviously a different price per person and we got to pick kind of which package we wanted. We circled the hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres are included, we get to pick four. So we kind of were discussing that and then the meals, the desserts, so on and so forth. So we went over drinks, we went over food, we also went over the floor plan. So she gave us, where is it? Oh, as far as food goes as well, she gave us a kid's menu. And there's no kids at our wedding, except for Charlie, because obviously she's our flower girl. So Charlie is getting chicken fingers. I know she would love that. Okay, she gave us four different options for layouts. Hoping you guys can see these. Um, and we get to pick, but she also said if none of these are the exact layout you want, like we can move and, you know, pick like pretty much whatever table we want to go wherever the hell we want. Do we want a head table or is it just going to be Carlos and I by ourselves? Like we got to pick everything and nothing is set in stone. If we decide on something, you know, today we can change our minds later on. So we picked a floor plan, which was Fun. She also asked us a lot of questions in the way of like how we want our night to run. We kind of went over a timeline. We went over like is my dad walking me down the aisle? My mom actually really wants to also walk me down the aisle. So I told her both of them will be but what we're going to do is my mom and dad are already going to be halfway down the aisle. So when the doors open and I start walking out, I'm walking out halfway by myself and then I join both of my mom and dad and continue to the altar. So I think that'll be kind of nice and it kind of gives my mom and dad both a chance to walk me down the aisle. It seemed to be pretty important to my mom so of course um, 
I, I mean, I don't mind. And then she got a day of contact person. So she really stressed that on the day of the wedding, she doesn't want to have to bug me or the bridesmaids or the groom or the groomsmen. She, it's just supposed to be a stress-free day. I mean, as stress-free as it can possibly be. So um, she wanted the number of someone, the name and number of someone who would be like the go-to person. So we gave her that. And then we talked about rehearsal dinner a little bit. It'll obviously be the day before. It'll just be a quick 30 minute run through to make sure everything is running smoothly. Um, and then we got into the fun stuff, you guys. We got into the um, decor, like what exactly, like there's, there's different options for tablecloth colors. So we got to pick that. And I was actually really surprised about this. And this is why I've held off making videos or um, cr making decor because I knew they would provide some things, but I wasn't sure exactly what. So in my mind, I know I wanted gold charger plates. So I asked if they provide that and she said no. That was like pretty much the only thing they didn't provide, which was crazy. I cannot believe that they provide so many things. And maybe that's like that with all venues. I really don't know. I mean, it's my first, my one and only time I'm getting married. I don't know. So she actually gave us three pages worth of decor that they have with quantities. So they, for example, have, and I love that they included a picture of it because if you just said, oh, we include a Mr. and Mrs. sign, it's like, mm, what does it look like? You know what I mean? Like, what does it look like? Cause I have a very specific idea in mind of how I want this venue out there to be set up and run or how I want the venue to be set up and like the look, the vibe it gives off. So I'm glad they put a picture in here. So the first one, they have one seating sign and it's held by a black iron easel. And it looks like this. And it just says, pick a seat either side. You're loved by both the groom and the bride. I thought that was kind of cute. They have three of these decorative vases. They do have one of these um, black hanging, like wrought iron sign holders. Oh, and that's the base. So it's just showing us what the base looks like. A wooden Mr. and Mrs. sign. They have two decorative wine barrels. And it says down here, used to tier dessert table to accentuate gift table. I really have no idea what that means, but we're not using that. Um, entree identifier, like the card holder. So they'll take whether they got vegetarian or you know the, the salmon meal or whatever it may be. As far as lighting goes, these are the lighting accessories that they have. I hope you guys can see that, like fairy lights, other kinds of lighting. We're not gonna be using any of that. And then I almost bought like 200 of these tall glass freaking vases, like the where you put candles in at the Dollar Tree the other day. I'm so glad I didn't. So these here are the exact ones. You know what, let me. I'm hoping you guys can see that. These here are the vases that they have. And these were the only ones where they didn't put a quantity of how much they have. So I actually have to double check with her because that saves us hundreds of dollars, which is nice. Um, also, they have these little guys, which I will be using as well. But we, Carlos and I did buy, I think 72 of them for Black Friday. They were having like a really good sale. So I'm not too worried about it. We have the little votive glasses with the little candles inside. So this is just more stuff that they provide, which is so nice. It kind of takes a little bit of the stress off of us having to buy freaking everything. And if there's one thing I will tell you, if you guys have missed my previous wedding videos, is this venue speaks for itself. You don't need hardly freaking any decor at all. Like it is brick, lots of greenery, lots of string lights. It is just so freaking beautiful that you really don't need much, which is definitely a plus. She gave us a list of preferred vendors. We can of course pick whoever we want for the DJ, musicians, photographers, videographers, photo booth, bakeries, florists. Like she gave us freaking a whole list of people that they have worked with before and really enjoyed but of course we can pick whoever so it's really nice to have this list she also gave us a list of um the top three hotels nearby so that's also really nice to have she also gave us a map that we can um like take a copy of i'm sure i can get a digital copy as well to put on our wedding website in case people have questions about parking 
Um, and then we did go over some of the bar stuff, but it's honestly boring stuff. So that was pretty much it. The whole meeting maybe took an hour and then Carlos and I headed out to the courtyard area, which right now during COVID, the inside of the restaurant is not open. So it's only the courtyard and because it gets a little chilly at night, they have put up these giant white tents, but usually the white tents are not there. Um, if you guys watched the venue tour video, which I will link below, um, you guys will see what the venue looks like with no tents. But Carlos and I enjoyed dinner. I had halibut. It was unreal good, like so good. And then Carlos, I believe, had the ribeye, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then after dinner, we walked back to our hotel and that was pretty much it. I knocked out. The next morning I woke up, I was freaking exhausted, like so exhausted for some reason. Um, and my favorite part of that hotel room is the freaking river view. You guys, the view is so nice, so nice. And I'm pretty sure that's like the only nice looking thing about it. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I love embassy suites just in general. Like growing up, whenever we would go on vacation, we would always stay at embassy suites. But I think it was, it's never really like important for me like what a hotel room looks like as long as it's clean. And this place was sparkling clean. Like it was super clean. The only problem is I think since I am going to have a videographer in there, I think we've made the final decision that we're not going to stay at that hotel for wedding day. So um, I think we're going to pick another hotel that's a little bit more updated on the inside because like I said, if I'm going to have this video forever, and ever I don't want to see an orange chair with a brown couch with a printed carpet and just like the ugliest wallpaper in the world in the background like I just don't want to so although it's wonderful as far as location goes it's super clean it has everything you really need I just for the same price it might be like ten more dollars a night um, would rather stay in a hotel that just looks a little bit more modern Overall, I'm super excited that we decided to stay the night at the hotel, like just for fun before the wedding, because if not, we would have never known. And then it would have been day of the wedding and we would have been SOL. Um, I would have obviously just, it would have been fine. But I just feel like Carlos is definitely a big planner. Like if we're gonna be going somewhere, like we will be going like the day before or the week before or the month before to do like a walkthrough or a drive through, like just to get a lay of the land. Like he's so like, I don't know. I think it gives him anxiety, like the unknown. So I'm really glad that we did that. Super fun. It was a really fun night, like I said. Um, and that view, it's like you cannot beat it. So um, yeah, after we woke up, we just packed all of our stuff. I got ready real quick and we headed home for the day. So overall, it was a really productive meeting. We still have a lot to talk about. We got a lot of stuff nailed down, but we do still have a lot of stuff to think about. I have a good amount of stuff to make because I am still obviously in charge of um, making sure like the tables look the way I want, the gift table, I'm gonna make a welcome sign. So I'm thinking I'm on break this next week from school, we're on spring break. So I think I'm gonna head over to Home Depot and get some wood and start in on the welcome sign that I'm planning on making. Um, also, I wanna go to some thrift stores and find some mismatched uh, frames that I'm gonna spray paint gold because I think that's what we're gonna do for table numbers. So please be on the lookout for all the wedding videos. I feel like it's kind of starting to really like sink in, like time is ticking. We don't have much time. We had, I think it was like 18 months. Oh, 18 months, we have time, we have time. And now it's like six months and I'm like, oh my God. Like where did time go? I have no idea. So be on the lookout for more wedding content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.